Hey BC, it's Joe Naz, Nazarowski, and I'm back with another installment and uh, got a lot of records, so I'm just going to pop right into it. I got some of these records at Records Recycle. And I picked up uh, a couple of different records. I swapped some of my uh, album. Levinstone, a proper box of fireworks for some different uh, records. So I'm here at Recycled Records in Reno and Mike is going to swap me for two of my records. I'm uh, grabbing some faces and uh, some Led Zeppelin and I'm also going to get a Rolling Stones record. Um, and he's going to swap me for it. Thanks a lot, Mike. You're welcome, man. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. I was real happy with this one. Pick this one up for a buck. This is Matt Mahavishnu, Mahavishnu Orchestra, Birds of Fire. Great, great record, man. Uh, was real impressed with this. Really enjoyed it. Um, you got John McLaughlin, Billy Cobham. Jan Hammer playing on this. Uh, just uh, great stuff. Been looking for this one for a while, and uh, I finally found one. It was tough to find, but I got an original pre uh, English pressing of uh, Cream, Wheels of Fire. In excellent shape on Polydor. Here's the inside. Really great shape. Cover and record, great shape. Um, I'm a big Waylon Jennings fan, but not to the point where I've got to have all his records. Uh, I just like having, a, I think I have his first Greatest Hits, and then I got, this is the later one that came out in the later 70s, and this is Greatest Hits, Waylon. Good tunes. Um, love Thomas Dolby, and this is The Flat Earth. Try to pick up his stuff if it's reasonable whenever I can. And as you guys know, I love the Carpenters. Trying to get all their records in really good shape. Here's a kind of hush. Really was happy to find this. I got a couple of Gentle Giant albums and I've been looking for. And uh, this is an original. Uh, UK pressing. Uh, this is in a glass house, Gentle Giant. With the inside movement dealy in here. Very cool. Um, this is the original soundtrack recording for the Blues Brothers. Enjoy that. So I've got I'm a Madonna fan for her first couple of records. I've got her first one, and then I've got Like a Virgin. And um, this one is Angel. And on the flip is the song I really like, which is Into the Groove. And that's like my favorite Madonna record. All I need to do now is get Justify My Love on um, a, a single 12-inch, uh, and I'd be happy uh, with Madonna stuff. That's pretty much all I would need.
picked up the La Bamba soundtrack. Um, you got Brian Setzer on here and Bo Diddley. Very cool stuff. In the shrink. In perfect shape. I got Yes Shows. Really great cover. Um, uh, just some great, great tunes on here as well. Um, this is an early Tyrannosaurus Rex. A bread of stars. This is an original Paul McCartney Ram record with apple unsliced on both sides. And it's a, a, a gatefold as well. in perfect shape. Couldn't walk away from that one. And I didn't have it in my McCartney stuff, so. And I thought, well, one day I'll pick one up, but um, I wasn't gonna pay a mint for it, you know, and I, I got that at a really great price in really great shape. Um, this is a Moody Blues, A Question of Balance. Didn't have this one in my KISS collection. Uh, this is Hotter Than Hell. Was real glad to get hold of this one. Um, I really love this record when it came out. I've had it a couple of times and got rid of it a couple of times, and I'm glad to have it back. This is uh, Deep Purple, Perfect Strangers. Great record. Really great record. Needed this for my Prince collection. It was I, I wanted to find a good one, and it was it, I've seen them a lot, but... I could never find one that was in good shape, and I finally found one. This is Parade. Great record. And again, really good shape, just like brand new. So these next records I got when I was in Reno, and I swapped my band's uh, record, Levenstone, a proper box of fireworks, for, these, for some of these records. So I'm here in Reno, and we're at Spectre Records, uh, right here. And here's Gabriel. How's it going? And Gabriel has agreed to swap me a couple of Levenstone records. A couple of uh, Gabriel has agreed to swap me a couple of uh, Levenstone records for these two: the Great Rock and Roll Swindle and Foxtrot. Thanks a lot, Gabriel. Absolutely. Thanks I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. I get more vinyl. <laughs> um, this one I had to buy. Um, I picked this up for $50. Um, it's one of the times that I've spent more money than I would have liked. But it is an original uh, pressing of the White Stripes Elephant. 
on red and white vinyl. Here's the inside cover. show you the vinyl. And it's hard to it's hard to pop him in and out of this because he you can't put it where the record's coming out. You have to put it where the record's going to this inner sleeve is going to be at the top instead of in the side, so you can pop it out real quick. Here's the red vinyl. Um, original White Stripes records are going for a couple hundred bucks, so I was really happy to find it for 50. Again, trying to get all those Faces records. Um, here's Rod Stewart's Gasoline Alley. I think this is probably his first uh, solo record. Um, those in the know. I haven't researched this, so I know I know that they have a certain amount of records where it's faces Rod Stewart, faces Rod Stewart. But um, if I say something wrong, correct me down in the comments if you would. Oh, and please leave comments. Um, love to respond to your comments, and I really appreciate them. And if you're new uh, to my channel, please subscribe. Um, here's Singing Again, Rod Stewart, uh, Rod, uh, by Rod Stewart. Um, kind of like a greatest hits of his uh, stuff with the faces. Another unique record, kind of uh, shaped like a big glass. Was real happy to get a hold of this. I've been a Raspberries fan for a long time. And um, I never find their records in good shape, though. They're always thrashed. Um, so to find this Raspberry's Best was fantastic. While I was at Spectre Records, where I also did a swap in Reno, I picked up Fresh Cream. Original Atco, 1967 in perfect shape. Um, you gotta see this. Look at this condition. Just beautiful. Put it on the turntable. A joy to listen to this record in such great shape being an original. Definitely needed that fresh cream for my collection. Um, again, a child of the 80s, and uh, at, at the time, uh, I was like 14, I think, and this album was, was a big record, and he had a lot of big songs on it. This is Rod Stewart's Tonight I'm Yours. You know, with Young Turks and Tonight I'm Yours on there. Also was able to pick up Ultravox Quartet. I love Reap the Wild Wind on here. Good stuff. Um, I also found this at the Orange County record convention and I was really happy to get a hold of it. 
Gentle Giants Octopus. Their third record, I believe. This is on Vertigo. Not sure if that's an original. I think it is. If anybody has the information, let me know. I appreciate being corrected. Believe me. I want to know. Um, we've been wanting this one for a while too. A sweet, give us a wink. And this has action and the lies in your eyes. Great record. And it's a kind of interactive thing. You kind of do this thing with it, you know, for the wink. <laughs> Didn't have this one in my Sabbath collection, so I picked this one up. Sabotage. This is a different kind of record, but rocking nonetheless. And I added to my Bowie collection, uh, this is Never Let Me Down. Didn't have a copy of that. Uh, this is uh, Bowie does uh, Bertolt Brecht's Ball. There's one song on here that's pretty good. The rest of it's kind of eh, but, you know, Bowie collection. And then I finally, finally, finally was able to pick up Low, man. Jeez. An original. In really great shape. And then I saw this, and I went ahead and bought it. I paid ten bucks for it. And um, it's uh, this is a promo promotional copy of David Bowie's first record, and uh, the cover I guess is missing. So this guy like made a cover and he put it in there. It's not in bad shape though, uh, for what it is. Um, but I didn't have Bowie's first record and to pick it up, uh, on a promo original, I figured out hey, what the hell. So I did. And then I've been looking for this one for a, a long time. I, I love crooners, um, certain ones, you know, um, this one I've really been looking for for a long time. This is Don Cornell, Don's Great Hits. in the shrink in perfect shape original beautiful email me address okay as as always love light and peace